we sometimes have this idea that people who cause harm or someone in a white van, we kind of grew up with that narrative. Or we grew up with a narrative that they're this evil shark or monster. And if you see a shark when you're swimming, you would punch it in the nose or run away or scream, right? Because you know what monsters look like. 80% of people that cause harm, 80% of people that commit sexual violence are known to the person who's been harmed. 80%. They are our doctor, they're our best friend, they're our long-term boyfriend, the coworker that we mentored, the person who mentored us, the client that we've been working with for a very long time. It's not the stranger danger stuff that we've been sold. It's not the guy in the white van. It's not the guy in the alleyway. It's someone we know. And that's what makes the conversation harder. When we talk about sexual violence, we're not talking about an issue that happens over there to someone else. We're talking about something that happens to people we love, people we care about, and to ourselves. So when we talk about sexual violence, and when we're talking about it, we're not just talking about penetrative rape. We're talking about sexual harassment on the street. We're talking about someone sending you a rude or inappropriate email. We know, too, that in our workplaces, sexual harassment is common. Three in 10 Canadians say that they've been sexually harassed in their workplace. Out of those, many do not report. Many don't report because they don't feel that their workplace will take it seriously, or that they may lose their job, or that they're in a workplace where there's, they don't know the policies and procedures that are supposed to exist to address it. So we gotta build those workplaces. If we're talking about having a good day at work. A good day at work is not being sexually harassed. We can do better.